Hey everybody, it's Gina B. Uh, thanks for stopping by. It has been a wicked long time since I've done a video. And there's just so many things have happened in my life in the past two years that there's just no way I could tell you, explain it all in one video. And I, I really, I would bore you to tears. Uh, so, but I'm really super excited about the fact that I actually, it took me, it's taken me two years to finish her, but but I have finished this wonderful, beautiful carpet bagger, hardcover carpet bagger. Um, she's been my friend and has saved me on many days. Um, but she's finally finished and I'm, and it's about, and it's time, it's time to let her go to uh, her forever home. Uh, so she's going to be for sale. She is for sale. And, um, but I, I mean, literally everything that makes me who I am has gone into this journal and, and I've worked it and, and I've worked on her and it's taken me r literally two years to finish her. Um, but I'm back. I'm hoping I'm back for good. Uh, cause I've really missed doing videos and I've really missed being a part of this community and, and being in connection with some of the most incredible, wonderful, and talented people. Um, but, and, but just, just doing visit videos and being in connection with, with all of, all of you, um, I've really missed it I, I, more than I thought I would have. So I'm going to do the flip through first of the journal. And then um, what I don't explain throughout, um, I'll take a couple minutes at the end for those who want to hear about what's been going on. Um, and then for those who don't, that's fine. You can just click off and if anyone's interested, I'll put a link below in the description box to where you can go purchase her. How does that sound? Okay. So she's, um, I, several years ago, I purchased the Nick the Booksmith course for, um, I think it's called Carpet Bagger Compendium course. Um, I've been making hardcover carpet baggers since the moment I purchased the, 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 the class. Um, and what is that? Um, so, and I've been, and I've loved, I'm not tired of it. I'm still, I still make hard, hardcover carpet baggers. Um, I just love doing it. I love everything about it. So I'll put a link below to Nick the Booksmith's course or her course list. I, I think it's on Teachable. Um, it's been a while since I've looked at that. Um, but I will put a link below so you can go and check out her courses, her channel. Um, she is still one of my absolute favorite artists. Uh, one of my favorite content creators. Um, yeah, I, I'll, I'll put all the information below. So she, uh, with the crocheted border, she measures about 10 inches tall by about close to seven inches wide. She, and she's chunky. She's chunky. I can't really close her. Um, but I love her. She has got my heart and soul on this thing, uh, especially on bad days or, 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 or times where I was really struggling. Just being able to open up the pages and, and create and, and focus on something positive and beautiful um, really helped me. Um, it has been this. She's a beauty. She's really a beauty. I, I really hope and I pray that she'll go to the right home. Uh, to someone who will appreciate her. Um, all right, so um, I'm going to open it up. I'm not sure. I mean, obviously, clearly the, the the painting on the front is of this beautiful girl with long, flowing red hair. I was a redhead till I was 11, but um, it just I could just reson it just resonated with me. So that's why I put it on the on the front, and um, hence. I've been on quite a journey in the last two years, so that's why I put the word journey on the front. Uh, so here we go. This is my favorite 
most favorite tag I've ever made. Isn't that cool? Isn't it beautiful? Um, I don't even remember how what all I did to it, uh, but it's got this cute little girl on the front, and she's sitting there with a needle and thread, and she's sewing something. Um, and then above it has the words, she kept going anyway. I don't know if you can see that. You just got, I, I, please bear with me. Um, I, I'm using equipment that I haven't used in a long time. And I'm also, I'm also living in a, I'm, I'm no longer in North Carolina. I'm not living in a two, uh, three bedroom, two story, brand new house in North Carolina um, with a loft and, you know, spacious. I, I'm, I don't have any of that anymore. Um, the Hubster and I sold the house and I, we have been living for almost a year now in a 40 foot vintage class A motorhome. So I'm, I used to have a lot of space and now I'm working with this amount of space. So bear with me. Um, and I, and I haven't used this equipment in so long that it's kind of like I have to learn all over again. So be patient, be patient. Um, so I will, I, I, there's no way I could give you links to every single tutorial that I ever followed while I was making this journal. What I can do though is put links below to all the artists that inspired me. Um, like this edge, this page bit, this page edge border uh, was definitely, I was watching something from Artie Mays. Um, and then I did my own version of it. So again, I will put links below to all of the artists that, that inspired me while I was making this. Um, I do not like stark white, so most, most of the time you're gonna see pages in my journals with stenciled uh, vintage photo. Um, I don't like stark white. Um, I love autumn, so here we have it little pieces of ephemera. This, I, these two pieces come from Debbie at Ink and Page on Etsy. Uh, I absolutely fell in love. I don't even remember how I came across her channel. Probably, you know, going down some rabbit hole on Etsy and, and I happened to stumble across her channel. But she has got beautiful, beautiful stuff. Uh, great journal kits. Um, I'll put a link below. Debbie at Ink and Page. But I love Autumn and I and I tried to put a little bit of a little dedication to Autumn. That's my favorite time of the year no matter what. Uh, so I put a little 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 piece of my love for Autumn. Uh, there's this page and I think there's another one you know further in. Um, a little bit of cheesecloth with a dictionary definition of the the word dusk. Um, this is a page. What is it called? Oh, what is it called? Uh, belly band, and it's also a bookmark. And it's got some cheese, not cheesecloth, uh, some eyelash trim at the top, and it's got a bulb pin down here with an old vintage charm with a faux gem, like a diamond faux diamond gemstone in the center. It's also got a couple of old beads um, and it's got a little uh, lantern, lantern charm attached to it. I love lanterns, especially li like, uh, like Charles Dickens kind of lanterns, okay? Um, and I have this stamp of a lantern, so I put that right there in the corner. I don't have something in every single tuck and pocket. I mean, it's already chunky here. so. Um, I'm, I'm leaving some room for whoever the owner is going to be, the new owner. Uh, I've left some room for them to stick their, their special stuff in. There we go. Slide this back on the page. <clears throat> Over here is a tag that I made. I made a, bun a bunch of these. Um, the channel 
is Ruby and Pearl. That's the name of the channel, Ruby and Pearl. And she does a bunch of stuff with uh, texture paste, stencils, book pages, uh, embossed cardstock, and she does she does this beautiful tutorial on how she puts these tags together. Uh, so that's where I got the inspiration from. Again, I will try to re remember to put everybody in there uh, in the description box below. This is a pocket that I made inspired by a woman I think her name's Kat her full name's Kathleen but I'm not sure but it's in my bookmark folder on my uh, on my laptop it says Kath blog and she is a Tim Holtz she's a member of the Tim Holtz design team and she did something like similar to this on her blog this was several years ago. Anyways, I, I really liked it and I thought, you know what, I'm going to do my own version of it and that's exactly what I did. Inside is, um, there's an old vintage calendar with, some, with a bird on it and some flowers. So I made a tag with some birds and it, it kind of, they to, it totally matches. Um, throughout, <clears throat> excuse me, throughout this journal, and most of the journals I've ever made, there's always going to be inspirational quotes or scriptures that um, brought me joy, helped me through a bad time, or, or just inspired me. Inspirational quotes that inspired me. Um, this is uh, The Expert at Anything Was Once a Beginner by Helen Hayes. Isn't that the truth? I got this little stamp. I'm telling you, this is the tiniest little stamp. I think I paid 50 cents for it, but it's one of my favorites. It says, you can't skip and be unhappy at the same time. I mean, think about it. Can, can you, you can't be unhappy and skip at the same time. You just can't. So, um, next page. Here we go. This is um, in the past, especially in the past year, uh, since we moved into the motor home, we've been traveling um, all, all over the East Coast, we, we traveled to um, middle states like, um, well, almost middle states like Pennsylvania. We went to, my, the Hubster brought me to, to uh, Graceland because I love Elvis. Um, and that was wonderful. That was the number one thing on my bucket list. My, but anyways, the, 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 I did travel. I, I've been traveling. Um, I've stayed put for right now. I'm, I'm in Texas. I'm on the Gulf of Mexico in Texas. Yes, I was. I li where I live was almost smack dab in the middle of where Hurricane Barrel, but I'm still here. Whew! Those were some wicked winds, let me tell you. Anyways, I've been traveling, and so I did a little page here on travel with a a, a tag, and there's. Um, Tim Holtz paper dolls, and the la little ladies are sitting on top of a stack of uh, suitcases, and then there's a ticket below, and it says, best day ever, and then a cute little, just a little cute little tag that uh, I tucked in on the side, some coffee stained paper, there's this, this paper. This is definitely another Artie Mays kind of thing. I saw her do some kind of collage thing on a pocket and I I just took it and ran with it and did my own version. But that's definitely another Artie Mays. Uh, this is a piece of her ephemera up here. Uh, uh, it says, no matter how long the winter, spring is sure to follow. With a little cluster here of fabric and lace and, and um, eyelash trim. And I got a tag to go with it. You will see some of my, the very last of my eco dyed papers that I did, in, that I create, uh, made in North Carolina before I left. Um, some I scanned, but some I didn't. This is one of the one, these, this is one of the pages that I never scanned. So um, it is, I can't re replicate it. It's one of a kind. This is a double tag that I turned into a tuck corner tuck 
uh, definitely Yvonne Preston via Artie Mays again. Um, but this is, I, I, I remember watching a, a video of Yvonne Preston's when I did this. Um, some little, you know, butterflies and postage stamps attached to the strings of the middle of a signature. Over here is a fabric page tab. Definitely a Mrs. Cog thing. I, I definitely, I, that's definitely a Mrs. Cog thing. Um, again, the, the other pay, part of my, the other side of the eco dyed paper. God, I'm thinking I really should have, should have scanned that one. Um, and then there's um, some more writing space over here. Another fabric page tab. The other side of my little tribute to uh, Autumn. The cute little pumpkin stamp. Another inspirational quote. Um, this is some. Uh, I rem I think. I, yeah, it's got stickles on it. Yeah, this is this is Gina having a good day. I I found my own inspiration. This is this is all me. Um, stickles. I'm telling you, it's all Pam's fault at the paper outpost. Like what? Like a couple of years ago, you know, introducing me to stickles. Yeah. It's her fault. I I mean, I got I've got a box full. I mean, a box full of stickles. It's crazy. Anyways, yeah, that's Gina having a good day right there. I don't know if you can see the sparkle. I think maybe you can see a little bit of it. Okay, so um that's, oh, uh, this is a picture. I've seen this picture. I think it's darling, okay? It's got these two little kids. Uh, obviously, early 1900s. She's sitting on her little travel trunk, and she's got her dolly, and then there's probably her brother, and he's got his little, his box. Um, looks like he shines shoes or something. Uh, but they're coming in, the information that was provided with the with the photo said that they were they had just come in to Ellis Island as immigrants and it's just a darling picture I've seen it on in several places um, but I just think it's adorable and, and just a few pieces of you know random ephemera over here we have a altered paper clip with a little fairy on it Um, we're going to open this up. There is um, rub-on stickers, vintage, like a vintage, like a Victorian kind of like brush and a fan and some ro a rose and some leaves. There is a secret kind of pocket here with a collaged journal card from two different napkins. Slide this back in there. We're going to turn this over to a f flip up with a, a small, a thin pad of scrap paper, like a, a notepad, more writing space. We're going to put this thing back on. That's what we're going to do. Oh, goodness gracious me. Slide this over here. Okay. Um, this is one half of, um, for years, ever since she did the video, um, I love Nick the Booksmith's version of how she puts together Franken pages. I usually, this was the last one in my pile before I left North Carolina, and um, I, I need to make another pile of them. Uh, I, I usually just make a base, like a, a big pile, a base foundation of them, and then I can embellish as I go along and incorporate what I need to for whatever journal I'm making. But um, that's that's one half of it right there. And then there's another little notepad here with scrap paper. Um, Susan Taylor Brown did a video of um, dangle or um, altered paper clips. 
um, and I wrap a piece of music paper around the paper clip with a, with a word and then these are all just scraps of lace and ribbon and whatnot another stencil page um, some DIY grunge tape here in the corner some more little butterflies on the top of the or attached to the strings of the middle of the signature here we have a living a fairy tale in a rose garden <laughs> um, that's what I kind of felt like when we first m moved out of the big house I mean I was sad because I was leaving the big house um, and I, I loved the house um, but I was also felt like um, I was I felt like I was kind of living a fairy tale because you know, not many not a lot of people in the world get to just go and travel and live out of a, like a gypsy you know in a in a in a camper you know so um, and then there's the little cluster here with um, all of my vintage buttons this one originally was like a pearl white um, and I take and I just take a whole pile of them and I uh, dab them with alcohol inks and I let them dry completely and then I and then I put them add them or to the embellishment Let's see if I can just get this up here I don't remember the color that I use but burgundy you know like a burgundy or a, a dark mauve it's one of my favorite colors so and then over here I don't know if you can see it very well I mean my camera my webcam is not the greatest okay but this is the last page of my homemade or handmade marbled paper it's the last one I have to I'll have to start from scratch and make them make all make it all over make them all over again that was the last page of my original marbled paper should have scanned that one too uh, and this is the other side of that Franken page with bits and bobs and all kinds of sort of things attached to it this is a pocket that I made I I printed on tracing paper uh, printable tracing paper that I got off of Amazon and then I made a pocket and then I took some stamps and I did this collection of stamps up here this is probably nine different stamps and I kind of arranged them so it would look like a newspaper spread almost and then um, journal cards oh yeah Melina Pilant 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 gosh ho Melina I hope I'm not butchering your last name Melina Pilant her mom is Miss Edith from scrapbooking with me she made she did a video of these um, journal cards with and she and you make the scrap petals you make the petals out of scrap paper uh, different kinds of and, I, and it says she had a plan here that's what I put at the top she, yeah I had a plan all right um, not everything in my plan worked out the way I thought but okay um, I love God and he has a sense of humor um, but that's a Molina pilot video right there another rub on sticker that I got it I think I got it at Dollar Tree um, so is the butterfly okay and we're at the last signature another fabric page tab from mrs. Coggs mrs. Cog um, another inspirational quote there this is an altered guest check. I love how it turned out. There's cheesecloth in there. There's a, a textured paper and netting. And uh, there's a Tim Holtz, I think it's called crocheted lace, but I'm not positive. It's a die cut, um, but I'm not sure of the actual name, but I think it's like crocheted lace or something like that. Um, and then there's another little tag that I tucked in there. Um, faux eco-dyed paper here. 
I can't remember her name, but she's well known. Uh, I'll find her name and I'll, I'll attach it. I'll, I'll put it in the description box. This is a, um, what do they call it? Bookmark. Uh, another one of those scrappy little altered paper clips. It says the word cherish on it. And then you, I know it opens up, come on. And then you open it up like this. And there's some more extra writing space for secrets. You know, everybody's got secrets. Everybody has secrets. Here we go. So I'm just going to, I just tucked this in. So, you know, whoever uh, whoever the owner's going to be, they can put it wherever they want. Okay, I'm going to set this to the side though. And then another altered paper clip. This slides on. This is not attached to the actual journal. You can just tuck it in. It's a trifold, trifold. I think it's called a trifold. So it opens up like this. There's another little picture of this adorable little girl. Um, different pieces of ephemera glued on here and there. Um, this is a looks like a ledger. This is a Tim Holtz piece of ephemera, that's for sure. Okay, then we open it up. There's another one of Molina Pilant's journal cards. This is probably one of my ultimate favorite quotes. How wonderful it is that nobody need wait a single moment before starting to improve the world. And that's by Anne Frank. One of my absolute favorite quotes. Another dictionary definition to the word belief. Um, there's a tag here. A tag here. There's some pretty flowers. Some kind of lilies, I'm pretty sure. Come on, slide in, Gina. Slide it in. Then there's another tag over here with different uh, postage stamps. There's a scripture there. So, just yummy. It's all yummy. Yeah, you can tuck something in here. Yeah, it's just yummy. I'm just going to set that right back down there with the pay no yep yes I am yes I am I'm gonna do it I'm going to do it let's slide it in just like that let's not let's not ruin the page Gina all right more eco dyed paper there um a little dangle over here a little bead dangle on a bulb pin and uh, uh a paper bead that I made myself. I mean, it's just full of texture over here on this eco dyed paper. That just came out so cool. Um, I'm going to have to make a whole new thing. But now that I'm in Texas, I'll be, I'll be using different plants, different leaves, whole new effect. Everything's going to be brand new. Oh, I forgot to tuck that in there. Let me just tuck that in there like that. Um, this is a pocket, a collaged pocket. I don't remember where I, I saw that. I don't remember. I, I mean, somewhere. I think it, probably on Kath's blog. The um, she's probably one of my favorite design team members on on for Tim Holtz. Um, so I did this collage pocket, and then I made this pocket, this tag. It's like a faux wood grain tag. It looks like lumber. It looks like wood. Yeah. Um, I can't remember her name. So I, I'll have to, I'll, I'll, I'll find it. I know I have it bookmarked somewhere. Um, but I saw her, I saw her do a video that was similar. And then I kind of made a few changes and did my own thing. But I will try to remember to put a link to where I saw that technique. And then here we go. The, the other side of another eco dyed paper. Um, there's, a, there's a metal medallion. It says peace on it with one of my alcohol inked buttons. Um, a tuck spot up here. 
another little, it says autumn with the back of the old vintage truck with pumpkins and flowers and then a tag here. There is a side pocket here, a big side pocket. There's nothing in it. I figured I'd leave that space open for whoever purchases the journal. This is a beautiful, these are beautiful little cluster um, collages that I did. Um, Crafty by Tony. Crafty by Tony does a vid, she has a video, a tutorial. Uh, uh, and, and I just, I went with it. I made a few changes and did my own thing. But I know I watched, it was Crafty by Tony. That's where I got this idea from. That's who inspired me. I don't know who inspired me to do this. I think I, this is just another one of those. I didn't have, I don't have many of them, but it's, it was another good day for Gina. Okay. Um, some slow stitching. Um, I stamped um, a definition, a circled definition of memories onto a piece of coffee stained like muslin um, and did my own little thing there. I'm going to try to lift it up so you can see a little bit better. There's a, a, a safety pin with some beads on it. Yeah, I actually really like how that came out. Um, some, and you're throughout the journal, you're going to see different little pieces of, or strips of um, washi tape. When I left North Carolina, I had over 500 rolls of washi tape. I do not have 500 rolls anymore. I kept probably my, I, I probably kept 75 rolls of my favorites and I sold and or gave away the rest. Um, and then this is another one of those collage page borders. Uh, that's definitely a, another Artie Mays thing. Um, and then over here, this is a video, uh, this is these tiny little like quadruple tuck spot, corner tuck things. Um, this is Molina Pilant. I watched a video of hers and this is where I got this from. Um, and then, you, you, then you can add in to the little tiny tucks, little pieces of ephemera. I thought it was so cool. Uh, this is a, an actual dried rose, mini rose from my garden in North Carolina. Um, and then I just put some shipping tape, so it's like a faux laminate. You took, you take. Sh uh, I, I have a video of it on my my channel. Um, faux laminate with shipping tape, and but that's a real mini rose from my old garden, and and that's going in there too. Embrace change. I have definitely had to embrace a lot of change in the past two years, that's for sure. Some good, some not so good, but I've had to embrace it. And look, look at this. Oh, I think I did scan this one. I'm pretty sure I scanned this one. But, um, I mean, some of them came out so beautiful. Love it. Love it. Okay, another little, little piece of ephemera there, a little age. Totally a Nick the Booksmith inspiration there. This is Nick the Booksmith inspiration here too. She does a journal with me on her channel using the Tim Holtz by Sizzix stitched slots die. And I, I followed her tutorial I mean, obviously, there's going to be some different things because I didn't have all of the things she had. However, um, I just, I wish, Nick, you need to do some more journal with me, okay? I need some new ones. Come on. Um, but yeah, that's a definite Nick the Booksmith. And then you can open it up, flip it over and open it up. Expect the unexpected. And that's a definite. Whew. Um, and that's it. Um, here's the end. Um, in the front of the journal, I've got my compass wax seal, and in the back is my fleur de -lis. Those are my two top favorite wax seals. I love fleur de -lis. I love compasses. 
I love what they symbolize, um, especially the compass, uh, for, for many reasons. Um, random pieces of ephemera here. Um, this is a patchwork, faux patchwork tag. The inspiration came from Bird Nest Books by Leanne. Uh, that's, I believe that's the name of her channel. She does several, I have found, I have found inspiration from her for, for several different things, but this is, def, this is definitely a Bird Nest Books by Leanne. I'm pretty sure that's what it is. But again, I will do my best to put a link uh, to all of the people that inspired me in the description box below. And you'll know this is authentic by this. I, several years ago, I found this seller on eBay, uh, no, on Etsy, um, and she was selling these, I mean, she had these, a ton load of these little boxes of embroidered fabric strips, but rolls of them, antique, of uh, initials, and it just so happens that she had a big fat roll uh, on, in a box of my initials. So, and that's GB. My first name is Gina. Well, my first name is really Regina, but uh, everybody, nobody calls me that. They call me Gina. So Gina and my last name begins with a B. So you know it's authentic. It's really that, and I put that, I put that in every one of my journals now. I mean, I've got a bazillion of them, so I don't think I'm going to run out. But I put that in every one of my journals so you know it's authentic. It's really from me. Um, and there you have it, folks. There you have it. There is my newly completed carpetbagger journal. Hardcover. She's a beauty. I love her so much, but it's time to let her go. Um, I'm about to, uh, again, I'm about to embark on another journey, another, a different adventure. Um, that's just the way it is. And I'm, I'm looking forward to it. I'm a little scared, but I'm looking forward to it. Um, I'm not sure how long, how much, how long, how much longer we're going to be in Texas. Um, probably another year, probably, and then. Um, but that could change. I mean, I never thought I was going to leave North Carolina either. Um, but it's just been one thing after another. Um, so I'm, I'm going to just tell you briefly why the big changes. Um, in 2022, in, on June 2nd, right after Memorial Day weekend, June 2nd, my husband um, had a heart attack. And then within 72 hours, he was rushed to uh, a heart surgeon and they had to do open emergency open heart triple bypass surgery. Uh, I could have, seriously, it, I could have written a country western song. It was me, God, in the truck with a dog, okay? I was alone for several days. Um, I, and I have MS. I live with, unfortunately, I live with the disease multiple sclerosis. I'm very fortunate in a lot of ways, so I can, I can still drive. But if anybody who's anybody out there who knows anything about the disease, um, you never know what kind of day you're going to have until you wake up in the morning. I mean, you can have three or four great days and I forget you have the disease and or, and or you can wake up and feel like it's your last day and you hurt all over right down to your fingertips. Um, so anyways, I was alone for several days. I, I was I had no family near me it was me seriously it was me and at the time we had a truck it was me the truck God and my my dog um, and then of course at, at the at the house we had I had cats and I, I, and a little chihuahua um, I, I no longer have the little chihuahua I still have the cats <laughs> yeah wrap your head around that in a little 40 foot motorhome but anyways um, that's that's how it all started um, and then when he came home when my husband came home 
I had to nurse him back to health. I had to take care of him because there was nobody else to take care of him. Um, and I had to try to take care of myself. And then eventually my husband went back to work. Well, he went back to work too soon. And then, um, and now, now mind you, if I haven't told you before, <clears throat> my husband is a, um, he was for 30 plus years, a firefighter. He was EMT, paramedic. He was also a nurse for eight years. Um, he was in the Coast Guard for eight years. I mean, he, he's done a lot, and he is a wicked smart man. However, he's seen a lot of things that he probably wishes he never had to see. But he came home one day and said, Gina, I'm tired. I don't want to do this anymore. I said, well, what, what do you mean you don't want to do this anymore? He goes, I, I don't want to do this anymore. You know, and, and, and he just said, you know, I'm, I'm tired of seeing the things that I see. I'm tired of picking up things that I don't want to pick up on the side of the highway. Um, I'm, I'm tired of, I'm just tired. I don't want to do this anymore. He goes, and, and I was given a second chance. Can we sell the house, move into a vintage RV, and go on an adventure? Uh, at first, I was like, "No, I don't want to. I don't want to leave this house. I love this house." Um, and I still have days when I really miss the house. But ultimately, I had to think, "What would Jesus do?" <laughs> um, Jesus has a sense of humor. I love God, and I've been mad at him a lot in the last two years, but he never fails me. He, so far, he never fails me. And um, I think he was trying, I think God was trying to tell me something, and that it could have ended a lot differently. I could have lost my husband. I could have lost everything, and I didn't. So... And my husband has sacrificed and done and been a, been a public servant for all of his life. So I said, okay. So we sold the house and I went through a major depression and anxiety and I was crying all the time and it was crazy. It was crazy. It was, it was like giving up um, something that you love. Oh, that's hard to give up something that you really love and, a, and, and leave a place that you really love. Um, and that, it was not easy. However, I don't regret it now. Do I miss have, living in a bigger space? Yes. But um, I've seen and done things in the past year that I never in my wildest dreams thought I would be able to do or see. Uh, so here I am. We ended up, I wanted to wake up on Christmas morning, which was this past Christmas. Um, just once in my life, I wanted to wake up on Christmas morning on a beach. Well, we found this place, this RV campground in, on the, in the Gulf of Mexico, in, the, uh, in Texas, and I woke up and I walked the beach on Christmas morning and I did it in a t-shirt um, and it was wonderful. It was wonderful. I, I will love that memory forever. Um, however, things change and I'm not, I'm not sure. We might be, we might be leaving, we, well, we might be leaving in the spring and, and heading back up to New England. Um, or we might stay lo here longer. I'm not sure. Um, God will lead me to where he, he wants me to be. But in the, in the meantime, I need you to be patient with me because I really miss doing these videos and I really miss being a part of this community. And now I have to do this in a much, much smaller space. So be patient with me. I love you all. I've missed you all. And I'm okay. Um, just a lot of changes. She is for sale. I'll put a link below. And I think that'll do it for today. I'm on to my next video. Um, I'm really into jelly plate.
printing. Oh my gosh, it's so addicting. I think that's probably going to be my next video. Not sure, but I think so. Anyways, I love you all. Thanks for watching, and uh, I'll see you really, really soon. Bye for now.